Hey everybody, my name is Ace Fangirl, and welcome back to another episode of Dang and Rombo. Sugar Happy Havoc. Last time, we went to the archive- well, actually, that- I lied, that's not the first thing we did. We were in the dojo, we opened that locker that we found the key for in Kyoko's room, and we found some arrows, and also some duct tape with blood on it, which is alarming. Um, then we went to the archives with Byakia to learn more about Femir, and we learned about the tattoo, which is of great importance considering that the body had a tattoo. Just saying. Then we all came here for the class trial, we were waiting around for a while, then Monokuma showed up and was like, why isn't everyone here yet? And we were like, but everyone is here. And then Kyoko showed up, it's not dead! I'm so happy. Honestly, didn't expect otherwise, because I knew she wasn't going to be dead. Um, but she said something really interesting before we got into the elevator. She said that this class trial has, is the most, is a, the, the, is what she said, <laughs> the most crucial moment for her. I'm not quite sure what she means by that. And she also said she was exploring the second floor of the dorms, which technically isn't open yet. So Kyoko, what were you up to? She said she'll explain everything after the trial. But we gotta get through this first. Being the last one left, I stepped into the elevator. And the doors slid shut. I feel very unprepared for this trial. Also, there's six of us. This time the clunking was loud enough to hurt my ears and the dread began to consume me once again. I can't imagine ever getting used to the mental pressure that comes from <laughs> I can't read. That comes with preparing for an execution. In that dusky darkness, nobody said a word. We just stood there, silent and still. After an immeasurable period of time, the doors opened without warning. A dazzling light penetrated every depth of my eyes. But it wasn't the illuminating light of hope. It was the illuminating light of despair. It was the blinding light of despair. Dang it, I was close. <laughs> what? Whoa! I can't wait! I can't wait! This is a lot right now. This is a lot of decoration. These colors do not work. You need an interior decorator. I feel like... Uh -huh, reading. <laughs> I've been waiting for this! I feel like it's been forever since we got together like this. The time for pointless jokes and jabs has passed. Thrills, chills, kills! Let's get on with the show! Wow, he's not even gonna talk this time. He's just like, let's go, let's get on with it. And so, the curtain opened for the fifth time. Oh, here we go, the best part. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial. Yeah, yeah, do I want to save? Well, sure. Why not? Alright, alright, alright. Let's make sure we have got- oh wait, we gotta read the bottom. Memories flow back, Kyoko is gone, and a mysterious masked body appears. The threads hold- why does it slow down? Holding them all together, begin to spin and why into one yeah it's weird all right so we did get this last time increases the influence gauge by five that is what i really wanted because i was struggling last time with the bullet time battles and influence gauge up is always going to be good so thank you tim for alerting me to that one not like i wasn't going to hang out with the Aki again anyway let's be real uh, let me just make sure we don't have anything else new. We don't. Uh, and let's look at everything before we get in here. Because I feel like I need to. Alright. Monokuma number file number five. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown, but we think it's probably going to be Mukuro Ikusaba because of the tattoo is what I'm postulating, but whatever. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. More on that in a minute. It had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. Haven't figured that part out yet. Maybe we'll get there. Uh, the explosion has burnt the upper half of the body beyond recognition. The upper half of the body remained on fire and had to be extinguished. Because of this, the upper half was soaking, wet, while the bottom half remained dry. Okay. I still think the sprinklers are going to come into play somehow here, but I'm not sure yet. The body was wearing notably long fake nails. 
Yeah, I haven't figured that part out yet either. The body had a tattoo of the dog on the back of the right hand, which looked like the Fenrir logo that was on that file. There were bits of charred debris near the body. It should be noted that the bomb, which had been removed from Monokuma in the gym, had disappeared. Which is a thing. The sprinklers are programmed to come on every morning at 7.30 and the time is impossible to change. As such, it can be assumed that if the body had been in the garden before 7.30, it would have gotten wet. Unless... Never mind, that's something I just want. 7 a.m. Makoto wakes the morning announcement. 7.30 a.m. Makoto and Aoi arrive in the dining hall. 7.30 to 9, Makoto meets others in the gym and together they head to the headmaster's room. 9 a.m. Toko is told to find the pickaxe in the garden where she discovers the body. Okay. The knife found near the body was the same knife that was used to stab it before the explosion. It's also the same knife that Toko had given Makoto for safekeeping, and the knife the masked assailant was holding when they attacked Makoto. Haven't figured out how that fits into the puzzle yet either, but okay. The tarp was hidden among other items in the tool shed. One side was wet and filthy with mud and grime, the other side was completely clean and dry. Which... I'm guessing it has to do with the sprinklers, but I'm not sure why it would be dirty unless the body was dragged someplace, so we're gonna figure that part out in a bit too. Um, whatever. The number of chickens in the chicken coop has decreased from five to four. I haven't figured this part out yet. Yes, Yoto claims there were, but I doubt five chickens just before nighttime last night, and yet. Byaku stated there was no corpse in the garden just after nighttime last night, so it can be assumed the murder must have taken place sometime after that. Byakuya also said that he, Yasuhiro, Toko, and Aoi were in the gym the entire night, and none of them were alone at any point. Which is interesting. The corpse had a mask covering its head and a white jacket covering the body. A knife had been thrust into the abdomen, and there were bloodstains around the wound. That does not look like the abdomen to me. I'm just saying, but okay. The body had stopped bleeding, but the blood was still wet. It was noted, however, that there was no blood on the ground around the body, which is what makes me think that the body was moved using the tarp. But we've done that before as the thing, so I'm not sure if they would do the same thing again. Mukuro Ikasaba, female known as the Ultimate Soldier, she became obsessed with the military young age, she disappeared while on vacation in Europe, and reappeared in Japan three years later. Apparently every member of Fenrir gets a tattoo somewhere on their body to represent their membership in the group. Cool. Apparently the killing game began with 16 participants, all students. It is assumed that Mukuro Ikusaba was the 16th student. Monokuma also revealed that the reason Kyoko wears gloves is to hide something she doesn't want anyone to see. Okay, that's a little bit misleading though, because he told us that it was scars. But that could mean anything! The woodblock decoration is found in Kyoko's room. It looks like it's actually the key to one of the lockers in the dojo, which it was. A set of titanium arrows found in a dojo locker. There appears to be 10 in total. I'm thinking this may have to do with the stabbing of the body, but I'm not sure yet. Along with the arrows, there was also a wadded up ball of duct tape in the locker. The duct tape had traces of blood on it. It's assumed that this is related to the case, but nobody can imagine how. And Kyoki is Monokuma's secret tool, which grants access to any room in the school to sneak into the second floor of the dorms. This area seems to have no monitors or security cameras. Which is weird. So, this kind of combat, my theory was that maybe somebody had hit her, like tied her up with the duct tape. And that she'd escaped. Um, and that's why the duct tape was in the locker. But, I don't know. This kind of goes against it. I feel like she would tell me, right? But then again, who knows what Kyoko would and would not tell me. I don't know. Not me. So, whatever. I guess we're just gonna go. Whatever. We got this, right? <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, God. This color Let's scheme is just painful. with a basic explanation painful. of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, actually, this does also explain the extra, um, stand if that we're all standing at. If you can figure out who done it, we did mention that, like, a will long receive time ago. punishment. But, if you pick the wrong one... Then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate! Okay, wait, 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 I just thought of something else I wanted to say, too. Um, so, remember, I was just thinking about this in between recordings, one of the in-between chapter segments showed Monokuma talking to someone, and they asked about the 16th student, and it seemed to imply that the 16th student had been killed a while ago, like at the beginning. So what if she's actually been dead longer than we thought, and no one has just hadn't found her yet? They just moved the body to the open. That's something that I'm thinking of, and that could combat. Combat? 
What? I can't talk today. Combat uh, Biakia's testimony that everyone was together. If this murder actually happened a long time ago, anyone is still fair game. Even people that might be dead now. Maybe they killed again? I don't know. I kind of doubt it, but it's possible. Okay, I don't know well, if that made any sense. Leave the rest up to you. Okay, thanks. Bye. Well then, let's discuss the specifics of the Let's victim. do that. I think that's that's a good place to start. First, we need to clarify who exactly the unidentified victim is. <laughs> Makes sense. It's Kyoko. There's no other explanation. Yes, Hiro, what the f Sorry, I'll cut that out. <laughs> but Kyoko's standing right there. No, that's a ghost! Shut up! <laughs> Kyoko's like, seriously. But she has legs and stuff. Ghosts can have legs. Well, that's just because... She's like the latest evolution in ghost technology! I'm going home. This is a waste of my time. There's a limit to how much ridiculousness I can tolerate. I'm serious. The Aki and I... Um, okay. So I just have to prove that- Why do I have to do it? Kyoko, right? Then let's compare Kyoko's traits to the traits of the dead body. Cool, let's do that. Her traits? Yeah. Well, hmm. The easiest way would be to get her to take off her gloves, but I don't know if she's gonna do that. One important trait Kyoko has that proves the body doesn't belong to her. Kyoko's piercing glare. Kyoko's face. Probably her gloves, right? I'm talking about her gloves. They'll give us some insight into the mystery. I'm sure of it. In that case, I think it would be helpful if someone explained why she actually <laughs> wears those gloves. Because Monokuma kind of told us, but... And would you happen to know the answer? Well, yeah, Monokuma told us, but I'd rather hear it from you. In fact, Monokuma told me. And me! Apparently you have scars on your hands you don't want anyone to see. So, is that true? Oh! You know... Now that I think about it, the corpse wasn't wearing any gloves, right? Yes, that's correct. They probably just got burnt up in the explosion. No, because the bottom half of the clothes didn't. I'm not convinced. The ghost is just trying to fool us all. All right, let's just not. There's no way the corpse was Kyoko. But if I can't prove why, we're going to be stuck here and the case won't move forward. So I don't have any choice but to... All right, let's do it. We're going. I'm gonna say dead body. Okay, this could be a lot of things. But I need to listen first, I think. That Kyoko there is just a ghost. Impossible. Okay, then prove it. Prove, prove she is a ghost. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. Uh -huh. They got burnt up in the explosion. Oh, I see. I see what it's gonna be. Hang on. Let me make sure this is the thing that I'm thinking of, though. The explo the explosion of burnt the upper half of the body. So, in theory, the gloves would have been fine, I believe. Well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. Because that corpse is absolutely Kyoko. This entire discussion is idiotic. <laughs> Same. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. I know the body is in Kyoko's, and I know I can prove it. Okay, I think it's exploded body analysis to that last one. I forget how to go faster. Okay, then prove it. Prove she's not a ghost. I don't remember. We're just gonna laugh. How do I do it? No, wrong button. Wrong button. This one. How do I make it go fast? Fast forward. Hold down the left control key. Okay. They got burnt up. Then she was wearing. Well, yeah. Cause that corpse is absolutely. Gosh, I missed it. <laughs> Whoops. I thought there was one after that. My bad. Sorry. Okay, hold on. I got too distracted by the voices. They got burnt up in the explosion. Then she was wearing gloves. Well, yeah. She must have been wearing gloves. Oh crap. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Okay. Okay. Whoa. That took like a whole one. I thought it only took a half. Okay, wait. Let me think about this another way. There is just a ghost. Fake nails. Tattoo on the right hand. Okay. Then prove it. Prove she's not a ghost. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. Do you think it's that, maybe? Whoops, I missed. They got burnt up in the explosion. 
I'm a ghost, interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. Because that corpse is absolutely. I'm not sure what they want me to go for there if it's not this. I know the body isn't killed, and I know I can prove it. They're really harping on the gloves right now. Is it maybe the other one? You are in the way, darling. Alright. We may have to do the thing. No. How do I do the... The silencer? Because I need to get those out of the way, I think. Is it just... Oh, am I gonna need to do a flashback? Hmm. Right mouse, okay. Hang on, I didn't think about that. Well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. Cause that corpse is absolutely Kyoko. I this entire discussion is idiot. I'm honestly not super sure what they want me to go for here. I know I can prove it. Like there are a number of ways I can prove this. I'm gonna try it with this one. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. What? Why? They got burnt up in the explosion. Didn't work. Then she was wearing gloves for the explosion. Well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. They can't Does expect me to go for like the stupid fake nails thing, right? What do the fake nails say? Notably long fake nails. That's it. They can't. No, that's not it, right? I. That can't be it. I'm gonna try this first. If this doesn't work, then I'm gonna switch to the stupid fake nails argument. But. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. Oh! I pushed the wrong button. Wow, this trial is starting off real bad. Many misfires. Hang on, well, I can yeah, do this. She must have been I just gloves. Cause that corpse is absolutely Joko. The only other okay, if it's not this. this is I'm just trying to argue that the hands wouldn't have been in the range of the explosion. The other argument that I can think of is that the fake nails would have not allowed that person to wear gloves. Okay. But that's really dumb because it's not true. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. What is it in the way or is it just not letting me do it? I'm confused. I am wasting so much time right now. Well, yeah, because that corpse is this entire discussion is idiotic. I really like Bianchi's sped up voice though, it's funny. Okay. I'm gonna get it this time. This time. Okay. Then prove it. Prove she's not a The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. They got burnt in the explosion. Oh, son of a be a word. Oh no 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 no! Well, yeah, because that. Why is this happening to me? Is it? I I know that I like suck at this, but like I'm not that bad. Okay. Then prove it. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. It's- wow, it goes really fast. I have wasted, like, four minutes doing this, and I'm so sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Okay, then prove it. Prove she's not a ghost. Okay. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. Why? They got burnt up in the explosion. I am so angry. I am so angry right now. It's not even funny. Okay, then prove the dead body wasn't wearing gloves. I it's so fast. It's so fast. I literally can't even get it. Well, yeah, because that corpse is this entire discussion is idiotic. I have a lot of emotions right now. Okay, okay, prove it. Prove she's not a ghost. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. Get out of the way! Burnt up in the explosion. I keep it keeps thinking I'm right clicking when I'm not, and then Oh my god, I'm so sorry for this. I'm probably gonna fail just because I'm burnt up in the explosion.
I'm literally gonna murder someone. I'm so mad right now. This is probably the most angry I've ever been at this game, and I know it's entirely my fault, which is the part that sucks. Like, this is no one's fault with my own, because I can't move fast enough. Okay, I don't understand. It's not hitting the purple words. It's not. So I guess I'm going to have to get rid of them first, because the game thinks that it's hitting them when I'm actually going fast enough. Yeah, no. I failed. Because I couldn't freaking... That's an interesting glitch. Way! Yeah, we get the first one! We failed on the first thing! The first freaking thing! Alright, alright, alright. Hold on. No, yeah, it's... Yes, it's fine. Everything's fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm so angry. Alright. Alright, alright, we got Byakuya's just face in the back, like he's done with my shit. Um, okay. Everything's fine. We got this. I'm gonna try- I'm gonna keep trying what I want it to be. No, 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 no. Okay, then prove it. Prove she's not a- The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. I'm going too low! It's going up! Then she was wearing- Well, yeah! Cause that corpse is- This entire discussion is idiotic. I am so angry! This is gonna be the entire freaking video, isn't it? Okay, then prove it. Prove she's not a ghost. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. I hate my life. I was- that was entirely- now I'm just getting angry. I need to like walk away for a minute, I think, and come back, because now I'm just getting trigger happy. Heh, <laughs> trigger happy havoc. That was not intentional. Okay, then prove it. Prove she's not a ghost. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. Ah! They got burnt up in the explosion. I- no 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 no! Yeah, because that corpse is at this entire discussion is idiotic. Why? Why am I having so much trouble with this? I don't understand. Yoko, there is just a ghost. Okay, then prove it. Proof the dead body wasn't wearing gloves. No, nah, that's too high. I tried to overcompensate. But I think I, I think that's what I'm gonna need to do. I need to compensate for the movement upwards. I've never had an issue with that before now. Okay. Just don't don't get angry. Prove it. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. Okay. Well, that I. They got burnt up in the explosion. She was wearing. Well, yeah. It doesn't seem like it should be this one. But I don't have anything else. All right. You know what? I'm gonna switch gears. I'm gonna switch gears. No, 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 no. Oh, I can only switch gears. Okay, then prove it. Oh, I'm gonna try it. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. They got burnt up in the explosion. Then she was wearing gloves. If this is it, I'm gonna be very angry. Well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. No, no! That is absolutely No, that's funny. This entire discussion is idiotic. I hate everything right now. <laughs> I'm so but sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Okay. I think I'm just out of practice. They got burnt up and she was wearing gloves before the explosion. Well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. You son of a bitch! No, you are kidding me! It's a bullshit argument. No, there's no way the corpse was wearing. This is gloves. objectively not true. I am a woman. Whoever it was. They were wearing fake nails. You can wear remember? gloves with fake nails. It's not easy, but you can. I imagine trying to wear gloves over nails like that would have been a pretty This big is the stupidest argument I've ever heard in my entire life. Besides, Kyoko wears gloves to hide her hands. Okay, right? well, whatever. This is okay, but it'd be pretty weird for someone who's self-conscious about their hands to wear Maybe fake she nails. did it for herself. Don't you don't you know. What time am I? I'm up to 24 minutes in the video, and I have made zero progress. 
anyone doesn't know women. That's true. You. Well, or anyone in this room, gloves. really. These gloves were custom made to the size of my hands to make sure they don't. Well, cool. That would have been nice to know before now. If I wore fake nails, the gloves wouldn't fit. This should have been information that they gave you beforehand. That completely justifies the argument. Oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> the dead body doesn't belong to Kyoko. I'm gonna have to freaking push back my stream because I have to finish this. Standing right here. Okay, so then, who's the real victim? First, we need to figure that out. That's the first thing I said. You're the one who's been dragging us around in circles. <sighs> All right, that's gone. It's in the past. We're moving forward. I guess with Hiro, I should have expected it to be a bullshit argument, but I'm irritated. All right, starting off on the right foot. Now we're gonna go into actually important shit. It's gotta be the tattoo, right? Kyoko really is still alive. Then who I'm gonna died? go with this. It's probably. There's gotta be some way to figure it out. I don't think so. The face was scored. Could be it. And there wasn't any description in the Monokuma file. Well, if we can't identify the body, then there's nothing else we can do, right? It could be either of those, I think. Oh, I think I'm gonna go for identify the body. If Kyoko really is still alive, then who does? I don't think so. This, and there wasn't any description in the Monica. Oh, if we can't identify the There we go. Alright, now we're back on the right track. Everything's fine. We did not just spend 25 minutes doing bad things. There was one clue left behind that we can use to identify the body. Yes. What? For real? Yes. You're lying. You'll die a cruel and unusual cool, death. Cool, thanks. Cruel and unusual death. This you I need to calm see. down. I'm mad at you right now. He's just being stupid. Ignore them, Makoto. Tell us what you're yes, talking about. Yes, do that. The key to figuring out who it was is the tattoo on the back. I of agree. Her well, yeah. The design's pretty strange, huh? Is this a dog? Her master must have made her get it to be like, you're my bitch. All right, Tokyo. Seriously? They really did something that humiliating? No. No, that's not it. The identity of the victim is hidden within that tattoo. Oh, really? Yes. Compared to tattoo to other information we have, the victim's identity should become clear. Where is her profile? I got it! The Fenrir Mercenary Corps. That's the name of the military group Mukuro Ikusaba belonged to. Okay, so... To show that they're a member of the team, each soldier that joins the squad would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. Fenrir? Yes. You weren't there. Oh. Okay. Wolf? It's gotta be Wolf. No, 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 come back. There we go. Okay. Nell. Need an L. Where's my L? All right. Now I need my F. Where's my F at? There we go. Now I understand. Sweet. The representation of Fenrir is a wolf. Fenrir, the wolf of Ragnarok. It's from Norse mythology. A huge world-ending wolf beast. Yeah, I did know that. Thank you, Marvel. He's the child of the trickster god Loki, and a female giant. Man, after all this time, we finally got a glimpse of the literary all-star. A wolf tattoo. And that means... Exactly. 
The body we found had a tattoo of a wolf. Which means that person must have once belonged to Fenrir. So it must have been Mukuro. Unless anyone else here belongs what? to Fenrir. Hold on. Isn't she the one that was behind this whole thing? We don't know that. <laughs> you sound surprised, but you're absolutely right. Yes, indeed. The trial this time is to solve the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. Are you Sorry. saying the new mastermind is dead? Now we have to have a cool last No. It means we were wrong in thinking that Mukuro was the mastermind at all. That's what I, mean, I was thinking. Being the ultimate despair seems like a pretty mastermindy title to me. Maybe we shouldn't have been thinking of her as the ultimate despair in the first place. Yeah, right? Because she has another title. Which is what I was going to say. All, looking at her profile, I didn't see anything that would fit such a description. All it said was that she was the ultimate soldier. Yeah. If I remember correctly, that other information came from... Kyoko. Kyoko. That's what you told Makoto, right? What kind of information are you giving me? So that means... Kyoko got it wrong? And who was she? Who was Mukuro Ikusaba? She's been gone this whole time, and when she finally turns up, she gets killed. Usually, when there's a scene where an important character dies, it has a lot more detail. You would know all about that. So you're saying she wasn't an important character? Which would mean she was the same as us. Just another participant. This is what I'm thinking. Then, who's the real mastermind? I don't know. It must have been the Hope's Peak Academy headmaster. Uh, I don't think so. No, the headmaster has nothing to do with it. But how can we trust that? We already know your information about Mukuro was wrong. My information was not wrong. Okay, okay! We're in the middle of a trial right now! <laughs> Monica was like, I don't want, I don't care about this. Mukuro is first and foremost! Please limit all future prattle, chatter, and chit-chat as much as possible! Fine. Fine. Recovering the identity of the mastermind will have to wait. But remember this. No matter what happens, we will find out who you really are. I stake my family name on it. That's kind of hot. I have officially decided to completely ignore <laughs> all such attempts at provocation. Now then, just so nobody's confused, let me state this one more time for the Alright, please do. The reason we're having a class trial is because a murder among the students has taken place. Hammer that point straight to your big old brain! Yeah, I got that part. Thank what you. What you're saying is that both the victim and the culprit are part of the student body? Then... one of us killed Mukuro? That's what I'm saying! Wait, no! There's a chance that there's some mystery no. 17th person who's no. been hiding all along! Nope! There are only 16 students in total that have been taking part in these events! Seriously? Then, one of us killed Mukuro? Mm -hmm. Who did it? Who's the killer this time? Get a hold of yourself. We've already yeah. narrowed down the list of possible suspects. That's what you're gonna say. But I can combat you, even though I'm technically not supposed to know about that. Huh? He's either gonna say, it's, it's either me or Kyoko. I'm sure you realize who I'm talking about, right, Makoto? Who the evidence points to? Based on what we know, there can only be two suspects. Me and Kyoko. I got it! You've narrowed it down to... Kyoko and me, right? Why do you say that? Allow me to explain. Please do, darling. Just after nighttime last night, I went to the garden, so I can confirm that at that point, there was no dead body there. Alright, but do you have a corroboration on that? So, the murder must have taken place after I left the garden. However, Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I were in the gym the entire time. 
the gym? Oh, she didn't know. That's right. The four of us were there trying to dismantle Monokuma. The whole time, we were very careful not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. All of which is to say, the four of us all have alibis. The only ones without alibis. Cause, okay, here's what I'm thinking. Let me check this one. Mm -hmm. All it says is they were dead before the blast. It doesn't say when they were killed. Other than that the body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. So the time of death isn't necessarily nailed down. Are me and Makoto. That's why you're able to narrow down the list of suspects. Exactly so. So the only suspects now are me and Kyoko. Damn it, I can't let this stand. Somehow I have to clear my name. Um, I have something I'd like to say regarding the whole- Are you gonna try that you were sick excuse? Cause I don't know if that's gonna work, honey. Are you thinking of raising an objection? I- that's what I always do, darling. Well, before that, I just wanted to- Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Idea of what time the murder took place. I would like that. Doing that might reveal some kind of clue. Whatever you want, somebody go ahead and- <laughs> Because it's not gonna be me! Me and Byakuya can both confirm that the body wasn't in the garden at... Well, it was after nighttime for sure. Oh, so he was there too. I'd say it must have been around... What were you doing there? Clock. Were you killing a chicken? So the murder must have happened after 10 p.m. Or the body was moved there. Then I guess we can say the time frame for the murder was between then and when we found the body? Oh, but... What time did we find It was a nine! The one who saw the body first was Toko, right? When she went to go get the pickaxe. Mm -hmm. So what time was the body discovered? It was nine. Oh God. The body must have been discovered at 9 a.m. Since that's when Toko went to get the pickaxe. I like the tile going on here, though. The tile floor is nice. Now then, Toko, what time is it? We've seen this like three times now. With the pickaxe and Decker by nine and one. He's right. It had to be around then. So we can be totally sure the murder happened sometime between ten at night and nine in the morning. For me, I was already asleep before nighttime hit, so I don't have an alibi after ten. I'm just gonna be honest here. But I'm sure I met up with everyone else before nine this morning. So I have an alibi for like two hours. We ran into each other in the dining hall, right? That was around. It was like seven thirty, right? Oh yeah, right around 7.30. I remember checking right before I went in, so I'm totally sure about it. Which means from 10 p.m. to 7.30 a.m., you don't have an hour. TBH, yeah. The murder happened between 10 p.m. and 9 a.m., and I don't have an alibi from 10 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. Okay then, it looks like the game has begun. If I can't provide an alibi for that period... Then I just have to prove the murder didn't happen during the time I don't have an alibi. Now that's a turnabout if I ever heard one! Let's see... Dead body... Okay... Hmm... We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep, and Makoto doesn't have an alibi. Why are people just saying time? times? Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7.30. That's more than enough time to commit murder, I should think. So Makoto, if you have any objections, now would be the time. The incident took place in the garden, eh? If I remember, there's something that happens there every morning at a certain time. I thought it was gonna have to be the sprinklers, but we've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep, and Makoto doesn't have an alibi for most of that. Yeah, from 7:30. Is it this one? No. Okay. Cool. I We've established a time frame for the murder. 
it took place somewhere between 10 and 9 o'clock. God, I need to read this whole thing again. That's more than enough time. So Makoto, is it 10? I don't see why it would be, but... We've established a time frame for the murder. I'm gonna try it. If it's not this... Never mind. No, that's wrong. Actually, the murder couldn't have happened anywhere near 10 o'clock. It had to have taken place way later. And what makes you say that? I'm also interested to hear your argument. Because of the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off right at 7.30 every morning, right? So if the body had been in the garden before 7.30, then it should have been completely soaked. Oh. Well, that's kind of what I was trying to say with the 7.30 argument, but whatever. Oh, hold on! I remember this part perfectly! The body was wet. Dripping wet, in fact. No, that was only because I dumped water on it after it exploded. Sorry, Doko, but you're wrong. I'm wrong? How? Are you saying only the mouth down <laughs> The mouth down south! you <laughs> such a <deep> <laughs> The that mouth the down was south, bad, but not because of the sprinklers. <laughs> That's really me. By denying the sprinkler, are you trying to deny my entire existence? No. Man, you're totally wacko. You're just realizing this now. If you really think it wasn't the sprinkler. I need to prove that it wasn't the sprinklers that got the body wet. All I have to do is hit Toko with certain evidence, and that should do it. I'm gonna stop here, because I'm afraid this is gonna go into a bullet time battle, which is gonna make me even more angry. <laughs> Probably. So, in the next one, we'll continue. I humbly apologize for sucking so terribly, and I will try not to do so in the future. But, so far I don't think we really said anything that I haven't put together. So, I don't know. I have no idea what's going to happen. I guess we're going to find out together. I'll see you then. Bye!